Well, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Neo Cipher Zero, and welcome back to One Shot. I thought we'd try a little face cam in this one, just to kind of get me used to it. So, I uh, guess this will be the first official face cam in videos, so you're welcome. Anyway, so we're gonna get back to the game. Nico's here waiting for me. Uh, I'm back, Nico! Oh, it would help if I actually uh, press the right button. Hey, Zero. Welcome back. Oh, thank you, Nico. Okay, so, I f forget the controls with this game every goddamn time. Let me move my mouse cursor. Okay, so we've got these four lenses, and apparently they're supposed to go into these slots here, so we can get our photo taken in order to get into the library, because we need a library card. Uh, so, in the last episode, it told us that we need to talk to these vendors, I think, and th that should help with, like, the order of the... Lenses, so we're gonna talk to them and see what they say. Can you tell me about how to fix the camera? Huh, it's been a while Pretty sure that the bulgy lens goes on one of the ends, but I forget which Okay, so which one is bulgy? Convex I suppose I guess I don't know But it goes on one of the ends. Okay. I'm actually gonna write this down. <laughs> Alright, so next we gotta talk to this person. Oops, wrong button. You used to be one of the camera engineers, right? The camera? Oh, joyous memories. We went through thick and thin together. And by that I mean the concave lens did. Okay. Uh... So, since she's the second one in line, would that mean that the concave lens goes in the second position? I sure don't know, guys. All right, how about Toaster Head over here? Is there anything you remember about how to work the camera? Let me see. When arranging the lenses, make sure that the thin lens is positioned between the two curved ones. Okay, that's helpful. And then you're the last one, right? Can you tell me how to get the camera working again? Yes, yes, certainly. The thick lens should be positioned to the left of both the curved lenses. All right, so we have thin and thick, convex and concave. The thick one has to be on the left of both of the curved ones, which are the concave and the convex ones. Uh, and then the thin one has to be between both of those. So, that should be the order. And then the, the, the first guy said that the bulgy one has to be on one of the ends. So, that would mean it would be... I'm guessing it would be the thick lens, the concave lens, the thin lens, and then the convex lens. I think. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and try that combination and see if it works out for us. So, first one should be... It's an empty rectangular slot. Oh yeah, I forgot I have to equip things in this game. <laughs> Alright. Alright, let's equip the thick lens and put it in there. And then the next one should be the concave. The next one should be thin. And this one should be... Convex. Right? That should work. Hey, it worked! We got it! Awesome! Now we should go around here. Hooray! Uh, cheese? <laughs> Hooray! Nico got his or her picture taken. Ouch, my eyes! I guess it's a bright flash, jeez. But now we've got a picture! Hooray! It's a photo of me! Hooray! Are my eyes always this big? Yes, Nico. You have special eyes. Okay, so now we have a photo of Nico. Oh, it's so adorable. I will put it on the library card. The card has my face on it now. Awesome! Kip's library card. So let's equip that. And then we can finally go and see what the fuss all is all about in the library. So let me just get back there real quick and I'll be right back. All right guys, we're back at the library with our brand spanking new library card. <laughs> so we're gonna go on and see if we can head up now. Oh no, unauthorized entry. What voice did I have for him? Library card required for further access. I know, I know. Oh, we have to show it to him. Okay, let's show it to him. Authenticating barcode. Executing facial recognition. Photo match successful. You're good to go. <laughs> Have a nice day, Miss Kip. <laughs> yeah, about that. Maybe I should have changed the name. 
It's all right. No need. We're good to go. As long as he says we're okay, we're okay. So we finally made it into the area we're supposed to be at. What do we have here? Just cactuses? Small trees. Okay, whatever. So we got a phone. Looks like an old phone. And a trash thing. It's full. <laughs> all right, what's up here? Hello! <laughs> you must be the savior! Oh, dice head. Okay. I'm so happy I could actually get to meet you. It's nice to meet you too, miss. Oh, it's a woman. Okay. Who to, who to fucking guess with anything in this game? So are you here to check out the archives? I can give you a tour. Actually, I need your help. Can you tell me what I need to do next? I think I'm supposed to go in the tower. Yep. Do you know how I can get in? Nope. <laughs> Gosh. Gosh, I don't think anyone's supposed to get inside the tower. I mean, there's a little room that you can go into. But there's no stairs or elevators or anything else. If you want my guess, you'll probably need Zero's help. I don't know how exactly. In my experience, that kind of knowledge is usually recorded in some sort of cryptic book. But I haven't read anything like that before. What about the book that we have? Ah. I know exactly what to do. Let's equip the strange journal. We don't need to combine them, Nico. Hello, can you look at this book? Oh, I do have this. I knew it. <laughs> I think it's written in some sort of words I don't recognize. Oh my gosh, it's a book. <laughs> and just, and not just any book. Golly, where did you find this? Somewhere in the Barrens. Oh, we found it in a safe. Right, Zero? Is that so? In that case, I know what I have to do now. I need to borrow this journal for a bit, okay? Gotta translate it. Oh, cool. It might take a while, though. <laughs> That's fine. <sighs> Excuse me. Gosh, you look really tired. A little, yeah. No worries, I have a guest room in the attic down the hall. If you want, you can go take a nap. A cat nap! Nico's not a cat. Haha, <laughs> it won't be done for a while, sorry. Yawn. Excuse me, again. Seriously, you should go take a nap before you overexert yourself. The guest room is in the attic down the hall, if you forgot. Oh, okay. Alright, so that's good, because I was kind of wondering if we were going to get any more dream sequences. A book is poking out from the shelf. Another fruitful visit to the Great Prophet today. She seemed high in spirits. She told me that she saw another glimpse of the Messiah's arrival, more vivid than ever before. The Messiah will wake up in a dark house. She said the vision included lights from a window and the sound of footsteps on a wood floor. Regrettably, she is unsure of the house's location. Ratchis was also present at the meeting. I ended up visiting his house later. We swapped notes. He has been very vigilant on recording the Prophet's day-to-day -day musings, and his writing has been significantly more legible lately. His children were endearing as ever. The old child, Calamus, ooh, we know Calamus, uh, has expressed an interest in reading. I offered to teach him as I did his father. So Calamus is the son of this Ra Rachis, 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 I don't know. Um, who was apparently taking notes on what the prophet said. Seems like there's more books here. Books poking out from the shelf. Ah, oh, this looks like a sketchbook of some sort. Ooh, sketches. Uh, another still life of some objects on my desk. Still not very good, but Silver can recognize the objects at least. Okay, so just, just a few sketches. That's cool. Books poking out from the shelf. Hey, I think this book is actually about clovers. Oh. Although its pigmentation is primarily black, the leaves display incredible iridescence when exposed to sunlight. These curious plants are most resilient and can even thrive in the metallic sand and harsh climate of the barrens. In the glen, it can also grow directly on top of the moss layer without competing with the moss for resources. Radiocarbon dating of fossils suggests that these plants may be the first life forms to colonize our world. Interesting. Alright, so was this the room? Okay, there's another book here. Oh, that looks like the prophet bot, the, th the guy that we first met, the robot that we first met. Sorry. <laughs> 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 
Thankfully, Dr. Silverpoint's team was able to replicate our prototype. On the right is an updated sketch of some sort, of some of, some of the modifications of the external design. More importantly, we used a radically different architecture for the microprocessor due to limited resources this time, but it still should be capable of delivering the late prophet's message. The team suggested that taming was a lost cause. Interesting. So we got some blueprints of our prophet bot friend. Uh, and actually, I'm going to go down here real quick just in case there's something I might have missed. Uh, I don't think there is. Just a black clover symbol on this book. Hey, and the other book has a clover on its spine. And the rest of these books, too. They're all about clovers. No, no, no. A black clover symbol just means it's written by the author. Oh? He doesn't want to tell anyone his name, so he marks all his works with, the sim with this symbol instead. He wrote all of these books? He sure did. Wow. Damn, that's a lot of books to write. So I guess this author guy must be, or woman or whoever it is, must be a pretty uh, busy person. All right, looks like we can take a nap here. There's another book. What's this? What, that's it? Bookworm. But she deeply believed, it doesn't start anywhere before that, there's no other pages. But she deeply believed in the multiverse theory. Regarding alternative versions, she likened the probability to the rolling of dice. Recently I found that theory easier and easier to believe, but I could not describe it very well back then. Nevertheless, I still wrote it to the best of my abilities. After all, it felt only right to honor her this way. There are six. Which one did you encounter? We had... She had five dots on the front, right? Or four? Now I gotta go check. <laughs> oh, it's four. Yeah, she has four. Four-sided dice. Okay. Are there different versions of that person? I don't know. Now I'm kind of curious. Alright, let's let Nico take a nap, so we'll have another dream sequence. I'm a little tired from walking. Is it alright if I take a nap? Of course it is, Nico. It always is. Forget that we have to relaunch the game when, when uh, Nico does that. I always forget we have to relaunch the game whenever Nico takes a nap. Okay, what do we got here? Uh, it seems like we're picking up in the same scene where Nico's mom made pancakes for them. So adorable. What's this? Ooh, what happened? <gasps> oh no! That's not good! Why was Nico dreaming about the light bulb dying and breaking? Hey, Zero? I guess you saw my dream? Yeah, I saw it. It was... Aww. Come on, let's go. You alright there, Nico? I think Nico's getting a little overwhelmed with the responsibility. Oh man, I hope that's not a bad omen. Hey, uh, had a good nap? Mm-hmm. Goody! I finished translating the journal, by the way. Oh, that was fast. Well, you were out for a while. Anyway, it looks like this journal might be meant for zero. Oh, it's for me. Okay. Oh, here, take a look yourself. Greetings, Zero. <laughs> if you can finally read this, that means you are near the tower. The tower is in the domain of an elusive entity. This being is connected to the world. For now, you can think of it as the spirit of the world. Interesting. It has no physical form, but it can communicate through computers and other machinery. Ah, so is that who is talking to me uh, through the computers when we access them? You know who I am talking about, of course. When you first arrived here with our savior, it no doubt contacted you right away. Through its own means, the entity will guide the both of you to the tower. The entry room is at the tower's base. Not only do you need the sun there, but also three pieces of the previous sun. Oh, we don't have any of that. The savior will not be able to do anything there. You, Zero, on the other hand. Look at the pattern on the floor. Do as it says. The window will be gone, so you need to bring it back. But the pattern was an X. Is that all? Yeah, the rest of the pages were torn out. I guess you don't know what happened to those. Nope. Aw, oh, I was wondering what window was supposed to mean. Ah well, I guess Zero will have to figure out that one. Well, the window, I'm guessing, is the computer screen. Right. By the way, what does it mean, three pieces of the previous sun? I only have this sun. Oh, of course. It just means you need things that contain yellow phosphor. They glow for a long time. Oh, I do have a piece of amber and a feather. They're both glowing yellow. Oh, just two? Here, you can have this then. Oh, that was easy. Ooh, 
We get a little dice. That's cool. Oh, it looks like me, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. Now you have a little keepsake from the library. Thank you. No problem. Looks like you're all set. Good luck now. Well, thank you. All right. So now we have three pieces of the sun. And I guess the only thing we would have to do is go to where the tower is. Is that all there is to it? I hope so. All right. I think it's close enough. I don't. I don't know if I need to cut. So. Whoa. Oh, that kind of scared me for a second. I was like, what the hell's going on? I can't move. Hey, Zero, do you remember where the cafe is? The cafe. I think so. Oh, good. I'm asking because, well, I'm a little hungry. <laughs> All right, Nico, we can get you something to eat. Actually, I'm really hungry. I haven't eaten anything since I got here. So is it okay if we go to get some food before we enter the tower? I hope they have pancakes. <laughs> All right, Nico. Yeah, I, I don't really want this adventure to end either. I don't know how close we are to the end, but I guess it's nice to spend a little extra time with Nico. How did we get back to the elevator? Was it up here? We have to go all the way back up, don't we? I think we have to go back up to the top. Can we still enter the elevator? I guess so. All right, then. Awkward elevator music. <laughs> mm hmm. Phone. Shut up. Sorry about that. <laughs> Alright, the cafe was down this way. I think. I don't know. We'll find it. I think it was this way. Yeah, this is it. Hello, coffee lady. How are you doing? Oh, hey, you're back. Did you manage to fix the elevator? Mm-hmm. Zero and I went to the surface already. And... Nico's really hungry. <laughs> well, I remembered there being a cafe here. Do you have pancakes? We sure do. Wait, I don't have any money. Maybe I can help you wash dishes or something? No, no, it's on the house. Aw. It's the least I can do for the savior, right? Here, why don't you take a seat? Why don't you take a seat? I'll go fry up some for you. Pancakes! <sighs> oh boy, Nico's gotta be excited, huh? <laughs> These pancakes are so good. Thank you so much. No problem. You looked really hungry. Yeah, I thought this world would... I, th I thought this would be my last chance to eat something before I go into the tower. Ah, gotcha. So, I guess pancakes are your favorite food? Mm-hmm. Well, almost. My favorite food in the world are the special pancakes my mama makes. Aw. She likes to pick hazelnuts and grind them up into batter. Oh, wow, that sounds amazing. They taste amazing. <laughs> she always made them when I was feeling sad. Or lonely. Or... Aw, oh, Nico, don't cry. You're gonna make me cry. Mama. I really miss her. Oh no, I just, <laughs> I just have a bad feeling all of a sudden. Am I even here to save the world? People have been saying how the sun won't fix anything. I don't even know why I'm here. I just want to see my mama again. Oh, breaking my heart here. Uh oh, or oh, uh, I got the words backwards, fuck. <laughs> They're there. It's gonna be okay. And I'm sure you'll be able to save the world. You're a tough kid. You managed to get this far already, right? Yeah, but... And you'll get to go home afterwards, right? Right. Hey, want some more pancakes? <laughs> it's okay. I'll be fine. Oh, poor Nico. Oh, it's giving me the feels. So yeah, thanks for coming by. Mm-hmm, thanks for listening. And for the pancakes. No problem. Good luck. Oh, poor Nico. Feels so bad. I've really grown attached to little Nico. I I'm gonna be sad when this game is over. 
This game has done a really, really great job of making the connection between the player and Nico feel really heavy, you know? Oh, sorry. Gotta open the doors by pressing the button. Ah, man. Got a little teary there. My bad. And we're back into the awkward elevator music. <laughs> sure is a long, boring elevator ride, isn't it, Nico? Alright, we're here now. <laughs> oh boy. Our adventure could be coming to an end. Here's the doors to the tower. I guess this is the final stretch. I don't know. This could be the last episode, guys. I don't even know. We're gonna find out, I suppose. Can't combine these. Uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I'm trying to figure this out. It says, I'll know what to do. It looks like a big X. This might be a little crazy, but I think I'm gonna exit the game and see if that does anything when I reload it here. Let's just see what happens then. Aha! We got it! When, as soon as I loaded up the game again, we got this scene with, uh, Nico sitting down. Is this a dream? Aww. They're so cute. I love Nico. They're so adorable. <laughs> oh boy. It's all black. Is this the inside of the tower? It's a lot darker than I thought. Wait. Where's the sun? Where is the sun? Almost didn't even notice that at first. Zero, do you know what happened to the sun? Zero? We can't interact with Nico? Zero? Nico, I'm right here. Come on, Zero, say something. I can't, nothing I'm doing is working or anything. What's going on? Oh no. Oh, I can move Nico around now. Where do I go? It's just black. There's nothing around me at all. Oh, there's a computer. Hello, Nico. H Hello? Congratulations, you are now inside the tower. Are you talking to me now? Correct. But you were always talking to Zero before. Where's... Zero has already left. I'm right here! <laughs> I'm right here, Nico! I had to resort to contacting you directly. Wait, so Zero is gone? Just like that? Correct. For good? Correct. Are you lying to Nico? Zero has already finished their mission. And so have you, Nico. Here, you can rest now. Everything that's happened here is like a bad dream. When you wake up, you will be home. Oh! But... What's wrong? I thought there'd be more to it, you know? I thought we were supposed to go to the top of the tower. I thought there was supposed to be somewhere we need to put the sun in. And now, I don't even have the sun anymore. And Zero is just... gone. This feels wrong. I think this computer's lying to us. But you did good. You saved the world, Nico. Are you not happy? I guess I am. But it's just... What the hell? I don't trust this computer, Nico. I don't like that you can't communicate with me anymore. We never did put the sun up there. I never even got to say goodbye to Zero. Oh. I guess Nico's going to sleep. Uh-oh. And as for you, Zero, we're done here. Please don't return to this world anymore. Excuse me? 
My desktop background changed again. What the hell? Uh, so this is what's on my desktop right now, guys. Um, it's just like a note that looks like it's taped to the background. This is not over. Regardless of what the entity told you, there is more to the story. Documents, my games, one shot. Look for this symbol. Once it's active, please relaunch the game. See you soon. Oh. So it's not over then. Oh, man, this is interesting. I got to open up my documents and see what it's talking about here. Aha, so there is a clover in my documents. Let's go ahead and open that. Whoops, it's opening up another screen. Just got a clover uh, on this window. It's just a window. Sorry if this is, is uh, a little annoying to watch. All right, well, I've got the clover active, and now I need to, I guess, relaunch one shot. So Nico's already asleep. I guess we just cl we cannot perform this action during cutscenes. Okay. Close that. No. Oh. I think I just had to press space on the game. I'm dumb. <laughs> Alright guys, so I still have the clover open in the background, but I, I started up the game again and this is the sequence that we got, so we're gonna go ahead and see what's up. We can talk to Nico again! Nico! Hi! <laughs> okay, now we... H hello Zero? I'm here. Was that you just now? I thought I heard your voice. In my dream. You did? Ah, uh, I guess you're still not there. So apparently Nico can't communicate with us when they're here. Aw, they look so sad. Wait, there's something in my pocket. I don't remember putting it there. What could they have? A clover. Interesting. Now we're supposed to interact with the computer? You're still here. Nico, why are you still here? You! Why did you come back, Zero? I told you to stay away. I knew you tried to cut the story short. Is that it? You knew I tried to cut the story short. Sorry about that. You want more out of me. Is that it? Fine. If you don't want to leave, I'll make sure you never do. What the hell? I don't like this entity. I don't know what it's trying to do, why it thinks it's helping. What happens when we go through the door? Oh, no. What the fuck? Something happened on my desktop as well. Hold on a second. So you'll have to pardon my desktop background in this, but uh, I got the this message here. It looks like a big chunk is cut out of it. Uh, but it says, back then I told you about the entity as little as possible. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. So, it looks like something is severely wrong with the game now. I don't know what we're supposed to do. Which. Oh shit, the image changed again. Alright, I'm just gonna hover it over the game here as best I can. This being has a habit of silencing the people who learn of its true nature. That's... that is not good at all. What if I keep going? Does it matter which direction I go? It... yeah, it changes. Back then I told you about the entity as little as possible. Oh, this is the same one, okay. Oh, I finally changed again, okay. Apologies for that. I did not want to put the librarian in danger. What is the librarian in danger of? All right, it changed back to the the true nature one that we just had. All right, it keeps kind of changing back and forth between the messages we've already got. Oh, it changed again. I'm thinking the torn pieces of paper are giving us hints as to where to go. So maybe we're supposed to go uh, to the right here. Regrettably, I have seen it happen to dear friends. It sounds ominous. Let's go to the right then, see if it changes. All right. Ah, but do not worry. The entity cannot touch you. Well, does that just mean we go back? Ah, it does. It changed. Now can it do anything to me? So now we're supposed to go down. 
I'm figuring it out. Sorry, my mouse is gonna be on the screen sometimes because uh, I'm not quite sure what's going on with all, all this stuff and I have to keep moving shit back and forth onto the screen so you guys can see it. Uh, I already left the world on my own terms. Guess we keep going down. Changed again. Ah, we're in a different area. I never meant for the entity to exist. So we're... So we're in a new area here. Does this mean we're supposed to go back through this door or to the left? We can't go to the left. Go back through the door? Or what if we go up through this door? Oh, changed again. But now that it is fully sentient, one thing became clear. Do we go back then because it's pointing this way? No, it doesn't seem to be an indication of where we're supposed to go. The entity seeks death. So do we go... This one? Death to itself, death to the world, a relentless desire that manifested physically. I guess we'll go to this door all the way to the left. Never meant for the entity to... Well, now we're just back to where we started. Okay, well, I don't know if I'm doing this right or not. Ah, found the right door. Okay. You have already seen the scars. Oh, I'm so stupid. Oh my god, I just fucking realized this. I'm supposed to overlay the clover. I didn't even know it was transparent. But the clover is transparent. I'm supposed to overlay it with the clover down here. Oh, that's clever. Oh, I'm dumb, but that's clever. You have already seen the scars. Okay, that's fucking cool. Oh, this episode's gonna be long, sorry. Alright, so we'll overlay it with the clover here. Right now, the entity is doing everything it can to impede your progress, stalling for even a few minutes. Alright, so we go through that door up at the top. There we go. Sorry if my mouse is in the way. Uh, sorry, you, you guys can't really read this one, I'll just read it to you. Before you inevitably bring the sun to the tower's summit, so we'll obviously go through that door here, you guys can see it if you want. Alright, now we overlay again, and I'm sorry it's cut off for you guys, I'll show you in just a second. Uh, this is where you, God, will make the final judgment for the world. Oh no, me! I gotta make a decision, guys! Oh no, that's a lot of responsibility. Alright, so we'll go in this door down here. Of course the entity will contact you again there. Oh. Well, that's not good. And are those squares? Are the squares threatening this part of the world, too, wherever we happen to be? And when it does, it will trick you into shattering the sun. How would it trick me into doing that? I don't want to shatter the sun. Alright, so that's that door. This will end the world instantly. Let's not do that, then. Okay. Sorry if this is really weird to watch with all the stuff going on on the screen. Dot, dot, dot. Okay, that's nice. So I guess, obviously, we just go in the other door. Dot, dot, dot. I guess it's that door there. Go through that one. No, no. It is not that simple. Okay. Through this door. I am sorry. I do not know what to do in a situation like this. Huh? What do you mean? Who are you, anyway? Who's talking to me? There was the entity, and then who's the one writing these notes to me? But I think I have to tell you the truth. Please do. Oh. We're in a different room now. The sun is the messiah's tie to the world. The sun is Nico's tie to the world? Does that mean something's going to happen to Nico? To light up this... This row, maybe? Hooray, we did it! Now let's do this. As long as the sun is intact, the messiah remains trapped here. Oh, no! 
Oh, does that mean Nico can't go home? Oh, fuck. <laughs> I don't want Nico to be stuck here. They want to go home and see their mama. That's not fair. That's not fair. This is... How far do I go? I can just go straight up from here. Oh, no. Okay, I can go this far, and then three down. Oh, fuck. I messed it up already. I fixed it. Um, we just... Shit. I gotta fill in... Everything that's left without stepping on any of the ones that I haven't done yet. I think we can do this. <laughs> Hooray! What's next? Shattering the sun may terminate this world, but... So we gotta get that one. I'll just leave my mouse cursor on it. Good job. Oh boy, this one's intricate, isn't it? It is also the only way for the Messiah to return home. So we have to make a decision to either save the world or send Nico home. That's gonna be the decision. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm gonna go ahead and make this pattern. Do we get it? Did I fucking do it right? Oh. Uh, I went down a little too far. That's fun. I think we got it. Do we? Do we got it? Oh, I'm missing one. Are you fucking kidding me? That's gonna be a pain in the ass just to light that one up. No, we got it. It wasn't that hard. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, what does the message say first? I did not realize things could end up like this. Please forgive me. So there's the light bulb in the center. And Nico's gonna go grab it. And it's gonna light up. I suppose. It's the light bulb. Thank goodness it's safe. I guess Zero isn't coming back. I'm sorry, Nico. I'm right here. Nico, I'm here. Zero! Yes? Is that really you? I thought you were gone. I never left you. Oh, I was feeling a bit scared back there. <laughs> we were here the whole time, Nico. <laughs> I thought I was completely alone. But that was silly of me to assume, wasn't it? Ah, uh, guess we need to figure out where to go now, and... The light bulb, the sun lit up. The sun! It lit up on its own! Does that mean we finished? Do we do our job? Guess I should pick it up, right, Zero? The other window closed. The clover one. When are we gonna get to make the decision? How do I know that Nico is okay with it, either way? I want to know what they feel is the right decision, too. We're back in the house, from the very beginning. What is ne neatly stacked in the fireplace? The house is all, like, together now. There's nothing in the fridge sink. I'm not gonna go down to where the place is that we got the light bulb just yet. I wanna see what's up here. I wonder where that light is coming from. Okay. Oh, we should check the bathroom. Shit. Nothing really. Little tree. It's a mirror. Just a toilet. Just a toilet. It's a metal bathtub. Alright. I guess technically we could save here. But I, I'm too curious to know what happens next. This is different, isn't it? So you actually made it here. I guess you win, Zero. 
I'll tell you how to save the world then. Well, I don't think I trust you now. When you reach the summit, shatter the light bulb and... And, and what? I'm just humoring you. Fucker. I know you've been getting help from a certain someone. He already told you about the choice, didn't he? What's in these rooms now? I'm curious. I was just passing them to see if, they, if, if it was like an infinite hallway or something. Are you still planning to save the world, Zero? Why are you trying so hard for this? Haven't you even figured out what this world is? No? I told you at the beginning, your mission is to help Nico leave. Because Nico isn't part of this world. Nico is the only thing worth saving here. Well, at least we can agree on that. <laughs> the final choice is up to you. I can't go against my programming. I don't know what to do. You only have one shot, Zero. Well, that certainly is the title of the game now, isn't it? I kind of knew that from the beginning. If you choose to smash the light bulb, then Nico wakes up back home like it was all a dream. But if you let Nico return the sun, the child will have to bear the weight of this sacrifice. So they can't, Nico can't ever go home. Oh, that's a lot of pressure. At least tell Nico the truth. I agree. Let's talk to Nico. You do care about Nico, don't you? Of course I do. I love Nico. How do we tell them? Do we have to go sleep? I'm going to go sleep. I, I, I can't do this without telling Nico. Nico has the right to know. They're the savior. They, they've been through this whole adventure with us. I'm going to sleep and see if that uh, does anything. I can't even sleep. Oh, fuck. It won't, it won't even let us. This is not fair, guys. <laughs> oh, I feel so guilty already, and I haven't even made a decision. Guess we gotta open the elevator. Hopefully there's a time for us to talk to Nico about it. I want Nico to know what's going on before we make a decision. We should be making the decision together, me and Nico. Sure is taking a while. I guess this elevator leads to the top of the tower, Zero. Are you excited, Zero? We're finally gonna save the world. And I know it's for real this time, because you're here. Oh. <laughs> oh, Nico. And then... I'll get to go home for real this time, too. I can't wait to see everyone again. <laughs> Are you okay, Zero? You seem a little quiet. Nico. Yeah? I need to tell you something. I'm listening. We can't save both. The world and you. What? What's that supposed to mean, Zero? To send you home. We must break the light bulb. What? But won't that... Oh no. The feels. But won't that end the world? Yeah. I don't want that to happen. So what happens when we save the world? What happens to me? I don't know. You don't? Oh man. And we're not even sure that it's actually going to save the world. It's going to give it another shot. But even Nico knows that we're not sure what's going to happen once the sun is back. It's not a sure thing that the world's going to be saved because of all this. Oh my gosh. I know saving the world is the right thing to do. But I care too much about Nico. Oh, no. So 
So this is where the sun belongs. If I put the sun in here, we'll be able to save the world, right? But if I want to go home, I'll have to... break it. Oh. Zero? What should I do? Oh no. <laughs> What's the right thing to do? Oh. Oh no. I have to choose. This is going to be so hard because as I was saying before, we're not even sure that returning the sun will actually save the world. It will give them another chance. But it's not a surefire thing. There's no guarantee that we will actually save the world. But we are giving everyone who belongs to that world another chance. And on the other hand, returning home means Nico will be happy. So, if we shatter the sun, Nico can go home. We're basically destroying the world so that Nico can go home. But there's no guarantee, either, that anything bad's gonna happen to Nico. So, like, worst case scenario, if we save the world, Nico could die. I mean, anything could really happen, I guess. And I don't want anything bad to happen to Nico. Oh. The poor Nico won't get to see their mama again. We'll, we'll save the world and, and Nico might be okay. Nico might be able to, to live in this world. But if it's at the cost of, of never being able to return home and see their mama again. Oh man. That's really Nico's choice, I think, but Nico's asking me, which is a testament to how much Nico trusts me, I guess. And... I don't know. We've been through so much with Nico, and I've really grown attached to Nico, and I, I really don't want anything bad to happen to them. I keep saying that, but oh my god, this is a really hard decision, guys. I don't think we can have come all this way with the sun to return it just to smash the light bulb. Now. And I, I think the right thing to do is to return the sun. I don't know what that's going to mean for Nico. But I guess that's what we have to do, and I think that's what I've decided. I really want Nico to be able to return home and see their mama again. But I think we gotta do the right thing. <laughs> it's really hard. <laughs> and you guys, like, might be sitting there like, oh, just pick something already, but... You know, I, I really like to immerse myself into the world of the game, so... I, I'm, act, I'm acting as if this were a real decision. Alright, I think we're returning the sun. I think, I think that's the decision that we've come to. Nico doesn't seem to have any facial expressions to indicate how they feel about either choice, so... Return the sun, Nico. You're right. I can't just leave everyone here to die. Thank you for your help, Zero. I promise I'll be okay. That makes me feel a little bit better. Nico's putting the sun back. And they look happy to be doing it. I know they're gonna miss their home. But I think we made the right decision. One shot. I guess that's the end of the game, guys. Oh man, we, do we get to see what happens to Nico though? We've restored the sun. Oh my god. <laughs> There's that guy. I, I don't know if we ever got his name or not. Character design, Night Margin. Maze and George's design. Whatever happened to Maze? Whatever, what did we, what were we supposed to do with the, the seed? Shit. I hope I didn't miss out on things that I was supposed to do before we returned the sun. There's silver. Oh man, I feel like there's a lot that's been unresolved now. Fuck.
This was a great game. There's the profit bot. This was an amazing game. I knew when I started this game, e even before I started this game, I knew this was going to be a really, really great game. I am so glad that I played this. This was amazing. A and I know there's more to it, actually. There's, a, there's an update uh, for the game so that we can continue playing something afterwards. I don't know if it's like DLC or an extra chapter or something else. Thanks for playing. What's going on? Get an after credit scene here. Okay, so when I press anything, it ends the game. It closes out the game. I restart it again, and it's just this this screen again. Yeah, doing anything on this screen just closes out the game. All right, guys, well, this has been a really long episode, and honestly, I don't know how I'm supposed to get into the Solstice update, which is what the, the DLC or add-on or update or whatever is called, um, so that we can do more with the game, and I guess figure out what happened to Nico. Um, which I'm really eager to find out because over the course of this game, I've grown super attached to Nico, and I really, I like, I have to know what happened with Nico. I have to know. Like, that would just be such a bummer if we never find out what happens with Nico and what happens with the rest of the characters in the game. I don't know if I missed something to do with the seed or or any of the other items that I'd been carrying the entire time. There was there was a door with a with a ram on it if you guys remember in the city I don't know what we were supposed to do with that either. I, I got to do some research apparently But uh, I'm gonna figure out what's gonna happen with this game and we'll get back to it because this can't be the end This I can't end it like this. I'm gonna end this episode like this, but oh Man, I love this game. I love this game I think this was probably my favorite game that I've ever played on the channel if I'm being honest with myself uh, unfortunately, I didn't get the face cam in <laughs> until uh, the last episode, apparently, but god, what a great game. I, I, I've... I'm at a loss for words, honestly. <laughs> like, I don't know what else to say more about this game. It's just been a wonderful experience, and I've loved every second of it. It's kind of like, it kind of reminds me of like a shorter version of Undertale. It's not so, uh, like, combat oriented or anything or non-combat oriented depending on uh, I guess how you play Undertale but um, I'm not going to compare it to Undertale too much because I think they're very different games it's just it reminds me a lot of it because of the art style and uh, just how emotional it is for being you know a pixelated game not that that really you know means anything pixelated games can be very emotional uh, but it just goes to show you what you can do with a good story. You don't necessarily need, you know, all these, like, realistic graphics or anything. And I think that's great. And I love games like this, and I want to play more like this. And uh, Night in the Woods is also another game uh, that's, you know, like, kind of like a 2D kind of game. But it's I, I'm really getting into that into that story as well. But uh, anyway, I don't, I don't mean to ramble on too much, guys. Uh, but, I mean, this is the end of the episode, and I've really grown attached to this game. I don't, it's hard for me to just let it go like that. I, I almost don't even want to end this episode, because it, it feels like I'm just bringing an end to the series here. Um, without really knowing all the answers, so... I don't know. But I don't think I have anything else to say about this game, and if I do, I'll be sure to say it when, uh, when I figure out how to continue on with the Solstice, Solstice update. So uh, I guess you guys can look forward to that. So for now, guys, thanks for stopping by. If you enjoyed this episode, click that like button's ass for me, please. And until next time, guys, have a nice day.